do as I say, not as I do. We are up to episode number four of my Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mashup series that we are currently running on my channel. Today we have Mothership 1 Subliminal versus Mothership 2 Sublime, two of the OGs and also two of my favorite motherships in the whole Mothership collection. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you. If it does, let's go ahead and do the youtube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. I've just quickly gone and filled in my brows. They're probably a little bit full on today, but anyway, that's okay, um, and primed my lids with the uh, Mario eye primer like I normally do. You know, we're just gonna go into the transition shade first. I don't know if you guys can see, I ha I am that close to getting pan on that shade and I am determined, determined to hit pan on it. Imagine if we hit pan, oh my God, am I seeing pan? No, no, I just got excited for no reason. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, we'll take my Delium Tools 785. I'm just going to really lightly buff this through the crease. I'm actually just trying to, trying to create just a really soft um, faux crease here. I don't want to create too much dimension or anything like that because I am going to do a halo eye today. Something different. I always do the same eye look shape. I know guys, it's probably so boring for you, but it's just what suits my eye shape, you know? But I should step out my comfort zone, shouldn't I? The next shade that we're going to go into is this dark brown from Sublime. So I'm going to pick this up on a What's Up Beauty R105 brush. I'm really liking these What's Up Beauty brushes, by the way. They're lovely. And I'm just going to tap it on the outer corner here. Oh, I've got no eyelash. Make a wish. No, nope, can't make a wish. It fell off. I'm just going to tap this onto the outer and inner corners and darken them up slightly. I feel like I really came out the gate like in real time when I'm filming this is when the mashup one went up with um, Bronze Seduction and Midnight Sun and I feel like I really came out of the gate swinging with that like mermaidy type look and now everything is going to be let down. But anyway, it'll be a bit of fun regardless. <laughs> so I'm just packing this on the inner and outer corners. I'm not taking it too high. I don't want it to be too full on. I say that and then it will be, you watch. And then I'm just gonna pick up this R102 What's Up Beauty brush. These look dirty as well, by the way, you guys. They're not, they're just um, like stained because they're natural. Uh, I'm gonna go into this one and I will just really lightly buff this dark color out. And then I'll just, no extra color um, is picked up on that dark brown that we use on that brush. Let's do this. I might just can use this. I haven't picked up any more color as well, by the way, on this brush because I don't want it to go too far, but I'm just slightly connecting these just to create a little bit of that depth in my crease. If you didn't have hooded eyes or you don't care about like, or you have the eye shape to support it, I just find like if I connect this and create that faux crease, it just looks a little bit better for me. But if you didn't want to do that, just skip that step because you might want to keep it like open, you know, open. All right, I'm just going to do the other eye, exact same steps. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Pat Intensifier stick and I'm going to pop this in the middle where we will put the halo down. Oh, I went that way too wide, but anyway, that's okay. Also, don't tug on your eyes like I am. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, uh, now, what color did I decide to do again? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go into the green today. I'm pretty sure that's what I decided to do. Well, that's what we're deciding to do now. And I will tap this where we want the halo. Every time this green gets me, every time. It's just so spectacular. Woo, she's pretty. That is such a pretty shade. Going back into that dark brown that I used, I'm gonna tap this on the inner and outer corners. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shadow from Subliminal and really tap it up to create a little bit more of like a Ooh. you guys that's really pretty really pretty it's like made that blue um like and because that's more of like a cool tony kind of blue shade i don't know if you can kind of like see that it's not like a super 
pop of blue it's more like cool tony pebble but on that with that green it makes it like neon blue it's like so pretty so pretty um and again i'm just picking up that brown with no extra color and i'll just tap it again just to make sure it's all cohesive and like no harsh lines etc so i'll just go and finish the rest of my face normally on these videos i have been doing a speed through of the rest of my base makeup etc however today i also have to film an lys like brand review of all the products I have so I'm not going to be doing that but I believe that the LYS brand review should already be up on my channel so I will link it down below and in the eye for you um, if you want to see like what my base makeup looks like so normally I do the speed through but I got a batch film today you know you girls got a batch film so I'll be back in a jiffy with my base makeup done base makeup is on like I said that review will be up already so check that out if you want to know my thoughts on LYS Beauty so Charlotte Tilbury black eyeliner in the top waterline and I actually put this LA Girl Shockwave neon liner in Screaming which is like this bright yellow in my lower waterline because I thought yellow would look really cool with this like pop of like bluey green in the halo. Now we're gonna finish up the lower lash line. It's gonna be nothing revolutionary, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna take the um, light transition shade from Subliminal uh, on a Delium Tools shader brush. I'll run that underneath the lower lash line. Then just picking up a refer number 23 brush, I will go into that dark brown shade from Sublime right here. And I'll just run that really close to the lower lash line as well. Just to deepen it, just a smidge. I'm actually going to go in with this shadow first from Sublime uh, for the inner corner. Where's my brush? So I'll pick that up and just lightly pop that in here I think I might leave that there I was gonna put some of the blue astral not the dark blue like I'll just show you I was gonna put this shadow on the inner corner as well but I feel like it might be too much it might be too much but I am actually going to pick up a small amount of that shade I'm just gonna actually tap that in the middle here Yeah, that adds, you won't be able to see that at all on camera, I can assure you, but it adds an extra little oomph to the look. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna quickly go put mascara on and do my lip, and then I will be right back and we will wrap this up. So this is the finished makeup look using the Subliminal and Sublime Mothership palettes from Pat McGrath Labs. Let me know what you think of this look. I really like it. It's really, really, like, it's still wearable, but like pops of color. This is like a way that you can definitely wear pops of color throughout the day without it being really in your face. Obviously, if you wanted to make this more wearable, you totally can. You could totally skip the yellow eyeliner in the waterline. That would already make it a lot more wearable. And then you could also probably just not put the green eyeshadow down underneath and maybe put one of the pinks down or the browns and then tap that other like special shade from Subliminal over the top as well. And it would be a lot more subtle and wearable. I really like this though I think it's really really pretty and um it really made that subliminal shade like shift and that green shade shift into like this like proper deep blue it feels like it's like the deep part of the ocean and there's like crystals sparkling down there or something I don't know all of the products on my face will be linked in the description box down below I'm wearing the Hermes lipstick in rose and Sense, if you're wondering and that is it let me know your thoughts down below shall I keep it going is this the last one or should I keep going? Let me know in the comments down below. So if you're watching till this point, you're a real one. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.